Yes. Y'all ready? You can stand in reference to read another word. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, Elder Watts, thank you so much for stepping in my MC. Y'all give my pastor and founder a hand on Philly Mitchell. Thank you so much. To my little bit church family, to the mom, thank you for the introduction. Thank you, Jesus. Quantana, thank you for being here. Amen. She kind of helped me with this message, let me know when I needed to go and when I did, didn't need to go. So y'all give her a hand. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. We're going to go to, go read this verse 1 through 8. And when they were escaped, when they knew the island was called Melta. And the barbarians people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us everyone, because of the present rain, because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered bundles of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when the barbarians saw that venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom thou he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffered not to live. And he shook off the beast into the fire, and felt no harm. How about how did they look when he should have swollen or fallen down, dead suddenly? But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. In the same quarters were position of the chief man of the island, whose name was Publius, who received and lodged us three days courteously. And it came to pass that the father of Publius lay sick of a fever and a bloody flux. To whom Paul entered in and prayed and laid his hands on him and healed him. The 28th verse. So when this was done, others also which had diseases in the island came and were healed. You may be seated in the presence of God. We're going to use for a subject or a topic tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I survived, I survived the snake bite. The snake bite. Come on, tell somebody, say, I survived, I survived the, snake the snake bite. Now put your hands together and give God some praise. All right. Amen. On the island, Malta, Paul gave a bundle of brush wood and put it into the fire. Suddenly a viper snake bit Paul on the hand. Shaking the creature off, people expected Paul to swell up and die. But he still lived. Can I get a witness? Having enough courage, enough faith, and enough strength, he was not poisoned. Yet had power to lay hands on the leading man of the island, Publius. After seeing that Paul had done local, local people gained faith and courage in Paul for prayer, yes. they were healed. Can I get a witness? Yes. I believe that the hands of God was on his life. Yes. Having the hands of God on your life, that means that you're destined for greatness. Yes. And nothing can stop you from surviving the enemy plan. Can I get a witness? And yes. Isaiah, y'all just follow me. I'm gonna y'all pray with me. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is formed against me shall not prosper. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I don't care what it may look like it won't prosper. It can't work. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about it? That's all. Well, many years ago, the devil wanted us to give up. He wanted us to fall saying, I'm your God. I'm your master. But that's not so. Right. See, we only have one Lord, uh -huh. one faith, and one can I get a witness? But being bitten by the enemy, you lost your way, you lost your peace, you lost your joy, you was left for dead, but God said, live. Can I get a witness? See, every time you turn around, something bad is happening in your life. Seems like your funny may, seems like your money may be looking funny. Can I get a witness? You lost your home and your job. Seemed like the police was after you because you had so many things that was in your way. Can I get a witness? Can I talk to y'all just a little while? See the devil telling you you're about to go crazy, about to lose your mind. But I promise you, I just can't encourage you to hide under the shadows of the Almighty. Can I get a witness? Why? Because God is your fortress. He is your strength. Can I get a witness? The Bible tells that I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. You. But tonight is your night to forgive those who have 
faith. Paul had enough courage. The Bible says that faith is the substance of the things so forth. Can I get a witness? And the evidence, it's the evidence of things not seen. Can I get a witness? You got to have faith to know that you're going to make it. Can I get a witness? See, right now the devil wants you to fail. He wants you to fall. People said you were nothing. They called you everything but a child of God. But I promise you that you will make it. If you try just a little harder. Can I get a witness? To the Lord